up everyone, and for Green Man here, welcome to the very first episode of Pokemon Tournament. Well, actually, no, it's not the first episode, it's the first episode I'm recording. The first, actual first episode was the live stream that I did of this game. So, so you guys saw that, and we did, and in that, we just mostly kind of just played around with the game, first three hours. We did Green League, well, we did a part of the Green League, I actually did the tournament and promotion test off camera. Just because it was too hyped. So we did the league matches, but what we're going to show off is the tournament real quick. Also, because I beat it, I unlocked some new support sets in too. So we are going to show off um, the um, tournament. We're going to show off the promotion test. And then we're going to go on to the blue league and do that in this episode. So let's go. We are first. We are first. Oh, oh it's awesome. Let's do this. We're fighting a Weavile. We're using Gengar, which is obviously our main. Well, not, like, I didn't, wasn't planning on using Gengar when I started off. I was planning on using Gar, I mean, Garchomp. I thought Garchomp would be my main. I really like the look. But it turns out that watching good Garchomp players is way different from starting off with Garchomp as a beginner. Like, it's strange. Just Garchomp doesn't really, I don't really like power characters in this game. Or when, and speed characters are better. Like, they kinda, I don't know. That's such a good chain you can do. Like that attack, you can really easily chain it and you can just kinda keep on going with it. Like, cause, cause you have something to answer every counter they have. To that attack, like if they shield, you grab. If they jump over you, you anti-air. If they counter, you shield and then grab. It's, it's just so good. Also, we have a cheer skill that allows. I'm pretty sure. Nice. Shoot the face. Okay, well our synergy game. So let's show off Mega Gengar. Why don't we? Who is the coolest character? Who's the coolest mega? The strongest mega? Like, that's not even a question. How strong Mega Gengar is. But yeah, this is really easy. I've got really good Gengar, and I've also got really good Blaziken. What I'm going to work on later today is a top five Pokemon for Pokemon Tournament. And also, while I'm on the subject, I want to talk about Weapon Spotlight. Now, I'm, I said you I was going to upload the Card and Roller Tips and Tricks Guide. However, how am I going to put this? I'm not going to do that this week, but I'll do it for Splatterscope, which is going to be next week. I'm terribly sorry. I will do another Tips and Tricks eventually, just not as a part of the Weapon Spotlight. So, yeah. and Because Weapon Spotlight's a lot of pressure, so you have to be mindful of if I can't get it done. Also, our character is really, like, customized. I spent so much time... Just like playing and customizing our character. I just, I don't know, I really like it. It's a really good character customization. And then beating leagues unlocks new stuff. So I'm going to be kind of rushing through these leagues. But the next video, gonna, like you're going to be seeing this. And while you're watching this, because I'm going to upload it right after I'm done. Is I'm going to do a top five. I'm going to work on that video. Because I actually, ah, dang it. Sweet foods are tough. You have to be careful finding those things. Also, yeah, you can just chain that and then you can. You have to just, the only problem with this chain is if your opponent counters or it hits back. That's just, that's so good. Yeah, Gengar is really strong, as I said. He's so good. I love Gengar. We should get up. And also, Gengar, you want to focus more on dual phase. Just because that's what he, Gengar, excels in. And especially since it's so easy to switch the phase with Gengar. Like, he'll stay alive a long time. Because look, you see his grab restores HP? 
he switches phases so easy, it's like kind of broken. Like this is all it takes to switch the phase. Like it's all I need is that attack. And let's try out our synergy burst. We got him. Nice. Let's do this. Yeah, I love Gengar. He's definitely my main in this game. He's so strong. Gengar is just so strong. And I like to, in terms of in skill investment, I just like to equally invest, like not equally, but mostly into attack, but also put a lot of investment in this energy. Yeah, we did some big damage. Also, tournaments are really good ways to earn money, especially like on your first time doing a tournament, you get like million poke dollars for prize money, which is awesome, lucky bonus. <gasps> Ooh! That's actually one of the more expensive clothing. Yes, very free. We are technical characters, as you can tell. And also, in this episode, I think I want to learn some, want to learn. Like, right now, I'm trying to learn Lucario. Like, so far, characters, like I say, I've not mastered. I haven't mastered any characters, but characters I've learned that you can play decently. Gengar, Blaziken, and that's pretty much it. I, I mean, I'm pretty good with Pikachu Libra. I just don't really... Pikachu, I just kind of button mash and get decent results with Pikachu Libre. Which isn't exactly how you want to play this game at the same time. And then switch the phase. Oh, you see that's what you have to watch out for when they counter. You see, if you shield, I'll just grab him. Switch the phase. Oh my gosh. Let's use just use my support. Nice. Good teamwork, Keybone. Let's use that again. He was really, these are really good support, like especially for dual phase, because they only can shield or jump over it, really. That's their only options for getting out of it. So it's just really strong. You gotta do something eventually. There we go. Like you just gotta wait for the shields or wait for the jump. Smarter players are gonna counter more often, which I have to get a com company with. Well, let's just go for synergy worse. I don't see why not. Oh, I probably missed it. Whatever. Yep. Easy peasy. I really do love this game, though. It's such a fun game. So, just like that, we easily won the tournament. With Gengar. And I might use some other Pokemon, too. But still, for most of the leagues, I'm going to use Gengar. Because he's the player, or Blaze King, because they're the characters I'm most comfortable with. Oh, that works, Emily. And the first time you do it, you get a million, but every other time you get a thousand. So now let's just show off the promotion test then. And there's also a story thing that happens after that I unfortunately can't show off, but it, for the rest of the leagues, it will be shown off. I'll leave my mark on Pokin. Okay, let's go. I really like Krogunk, though. It's a, I really like that sport. It really fits Gengar. Okay. Nice. Oh, dang. Nice. That's a really good attack for get, not only getting them off you. You see? You predict the jump. Oh, I barely outlasted that counter there. Good job. I want to 
to show off Kogun, so maybe I'll let my... Oh, he will burn something attack first. That is so funny. Oh, ouch. You see that? It's just so good. And just like that, we won. We didn't even have to use Omega. We actually didn't have to use Infernia of Spite. They just like to. That is terrifying. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I kind of like not necessarily evenly invest, but get a lot of investment in attack and synergy. Also, we're getting so many lucky bonuses. So yeah, once you beat that, you can go on to the next league, and that's where we are right now. Probably, but before we do that, I actually have enough money to get something I, like like I really wanted, which is cool. This could be like I'm just like addicted to the character customization. I really like it. I just spend a lot of time grinding. But I mean, it's fun. No way. No way. Hold on, let me see. How does this? Yeah, it doesn't actually look that good. Okay. And then we got some that. Got that one. These look really stupid. That <laughs> looks so dumb. But look, it's like it's stuff down here. I think we can. Oh, we can't afford this. And actually, this isn't that expensive, but it doesn't. Like, the shirt that I wanted was, um, where is it? Right here. Well, hmm. Look, that looks so cool. So now we are practically out of money. That's always good. Okay, so now let's continue on then. And do the blue league, which I'm excited for. And I don't know how much of it we're going to do, but let's see. It's already going to get a bit harder, so I have to be on top of my game. And this is really good for really mastering characters. Like, you're gonna get really good at characters this way, trust me. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go, Jirach. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, what is this, a Suicune? Oh, no, it's a Guard Bar, so yeah, Whimsicott will be helpful. Actually, yeah, Whimsicott will be very helpful. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm so happy you didn't use his anti air there because he could easily. Nice. <laughs> That's not even fair.
this person right now. You see that? That's really frustrating. Okay, let's please get him. Nice. Even if it's not gonna kill, it's gonna hurt. Oh no, we get killed! Dang. I thought he was gonna survive it a little bit, but yeah. Don't mess with Mega Gengar. I don't care if you got Megas, I got Megas too. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can definitely tell the difficulty spike. Or I can definitely notice Suicune. Ah, oh, good Suicunes are so hard to deal with. I'm so scared. Uh, let's, let's go keep on in, Diglett. Hopefully that will be able to help us get in close. I think Suicune would have made a good technical though. Wait, I think... Okay, but yeah, let's do this though. I am not ready at all. This Pokemon scares me to heck. Especially after I've used them for a bit. Like, oh, that's terrifying. It's so strong. Just take advantage of when you let your guard down. Wow! They are! Okay, I guess we're just gonna keep on chaining it. Yeah, you have to be careful. It's like, it's scary. And I'm not actually doing bad. I'm just afraid of doing bad. Okay, let's go Diglett again. That would be really helpful. Because a good combo is all we really need on this thing. Ouch. Whew. Okay, oh, nice grab. Do this. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Well, okay, let's go for burst. That should kill. Man, I'm having I'm just having so much fun with this game though. It's a really good game. Woo! Maybe I'll switch over. Next episode we'll probably all review the place again. So sweet. So, how about it? How are you feeling after that battle? Feeling pretty good. Oh my gosh, you're getting so many of these. Getting so many lucky bonuses. Secret technique, okay. I I like I like my invincible myth, you know. Also, we're gonna have to probably do this a couple times just to get to top eight. Okay, I'll wait when I see it, buddy. I didn't see what he was using. My bad. You have to learn your matchups in this game also. And oh, God! Good Jesus, he's using Charizard. That's not going to be good. As you can see, though, we've got a 100% win rate. We haven't lost yet. Ugh. Gengar hits. I mean, Charizard hits so hard. Yeah, I really have to be careful about how I do this. That's a really, that's one of my favorite anti-airs that any character has. Yeah, I need to really be safe with my playstyle. Ouch. Oh, 
Oh shoot. That was not a smart time to use Cubone. Okay. So now who's going to hit? I'm trying to hit him with the Shadow Punch to switch the face. And then. Charizard's hit so hard, but they're, but I don't know who's actually a Charizard is faster than the champ or not. I'm actually going to observe that this next battle. So I'm curious. Okay. Opportunities. Took it. That type is really good for just outlasting his counter. Oh, shoot. Offense and max bonus. And I don't actually know what bonus does. Okay. Level 22. Let's put, get some more attack investment. Okay, so this is story stuff. Anyway, a few trainers have already gotten banged up pretty badly. Be careful. That must be okay, so now that I think that we actually lost to faster than black itself. It also had this big synergy stone looking thing on its shoulder hidden that do you think that stone is what makes it look like that? I can't wait to actually unlock Mewtwo and Shadow Mewtwo. When I unlock Shadow Mewtwo, that's going to be awesome. So yeah, let's see how much this will move us up in the ranks. Probably not that much. Let's just go Croco. I like Croco and Consolium. Even though I must say you just use Croco. Oh, it is a Blaziken though. So yeah, that's a bit old. Stressing. Okay, let's see. I need to watch out for that homing attack. I don't know why no one uses it, but Blaziken's homing attack is really good. Also nice, we're able to string. Watching that attack. Okay. Okay, that actually should kill. Yeah. Nice. Good job. That was a good, clean win. Wanna head into the next battle with the same support? Yeah. Oh, we might not actually hit this. 
Okay, whatever. That looks so terrifying, but so awesome at the same time. Okay, this is the last trainer then. Time to take a support set. Hope this will be some good old fun. Okay, and I am wearing headphones because this the game soundtrack is just way too good. To just like give it up. I still haven't been able to play a magic card festival yet, which makes me so sad. Like really sad actually. Don't let this man get close. Make sure not to get back into the wall. Okay. Switch the face. Okay. Support, I think. Nice! Yeah, he's about to go for homing attack, which actually would really hurt because he's powered up. Okay, and I've also spent a lot of time just learning matchups, playing CPUs and hard. Like just kind of learning how what Gengar can handle easily and what he can't. Same with Blaziken. Like I said, th that's those are the two characters I've used the most. Ooh! Ow! Chill! Ow! Ooh! Get him! Get him, get him, get him, please! Oh, thank you. I don't even, that should kill. Then again, I don't know for sure. It didn't. That's okay, you still got. <laughs> Made a Gengar OP. He's actually a bit stronger in field phase because his, he gets a variety of really OP long range attacks. Like that one laser I did, like it's so good because that serves as like an anti-air and a long range attack. And an easy phase shifter. Like, it's just strong. It's so strong. We've gotten so... They don't even feel lucky anymore. They're just like every other match. Okay, sweet. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to do this multiple times. Well, that'll be all now, though. Hopefully you all enjoyed in this episode we just did some league matches with Gengar, showed off some stuff, customized character bit. If you all enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Tournament, Pokemon Tournament, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. See you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.